top of the morning to you, old Texas Paul here. Hope your coffee is as good as mine. Nice cool day. Look, check this out. <laughs> nice cool day outside. It's beautiful here. Hope you're having a wonderful day like I am. Oh my goodness. I hope you are having as beautiful a time getting ready for this election as I am. I am here today to tell you about the ride of dipshit Barbie. Yep, that's right. Oh, Allison Steinberg's at it again. She saw the picture we shared of the the uh, trip we resistors posted uh, about our trip to the White House. And she's just having a damn hissy fit meltdown in and jealous for attention. Um, my wife said, do your roots, by the way, Allison. She said, you look like a reverse skunk. This blue check mark, named Brooklyn Dad underscore defiant, is a literal nobody who came out of nowhere. Oh, but he's got a blue check mark, so he must be important, right? You can see here he tweeted at the White House with these awesome resistors. Zoom in to spot your faves. <laughs> resistors? What exactly are you pro-government establishment shills resisting? Such a joke. Anyway, this happened close to the same time Dylan and company took their little field trip to the White House, and they're clearly inviting groups of paid influencers to spread their garbage propaganda. Call me a crazy conspiracy theorist, but what sealed the deal for me was this one. My number one fan, Texas Pauly, in the same photo as these Biden-loving commies. For those of you that don't know, Texas Paul is a contributor to far-left media group Midas Touch, who somehow has 676,000 followers. I suppose that's the beauty of not having to deal with censorship and getting your posts boosted in a completely rigged algorithm. Again, it all makes sense when you realize these losers are all sellout puppets to the establishment. We all know the CIA is all over social media. Why wouldn't they boost liberals and radicals to further push their agenda to manipulate the system? But old dipshit Barbie, uh, first of all, says we were paid to be there. Let's just knock that shit down. This didn't cost you people anything. We all paid out of our own pocket to be there. We did. We, we flew on our own dime. We paid for our own hotels and everything because we're patriots. We give a shit. We give a shit what's going on. The White House wanted to thank us because we do a good job of getting actual information out to you people. That's, that's it. They have a hard time with mainstream media at times because mainstream media is loves drama and we don't do that. We just tell the truth. You go to, you know, dipshit Barbie brings up Midas Touch. I'm a contributor to Midas Touch. They do amazing work. This is going to come out of Midas Touch. They do amazing work. They tell people the truth. They tell people what's going on. Direct, plain facts. It's that simple. And no, I don't work for the CIA. Wish I did. They pay well. But uh, no, I don't work for the CIA. But the reason I was at the White House and everybody else was at the White House is just a thank you for getting the message out, for telling people the truth. And that's really not that hard to do. You know, you just say, this is what happens. You know, Biden passed the CHIP Act, which is massive right now considering our problems with China. And, you know, the PACT Act the, the, got us out of COVID. He got us, uh, the economy fired back up with, <laughs> with the stimulus bill. I mean, just one thing after another, after another, after another. The Inflation Reduction Act, which is working, by the way. The IMF has come out and projected inflation this time will be normal next year. You know, the International Monetary Fund has said that inflation will die because they got on it. They did their job. Unlike the idiot Republican Reagan, who, you know, I lived through that, folks. The Reagan years, you're talking about 16, 19% interest, credit cards with 25% interest. It was, it, it was not a good time. People buying houses paying 16% interest under Reagan. That's not happening here, folks. Because Biden and his team, and it was a tremendous opportunity for me to say thank you to them because they are working their ass off. They're doing things like this. They're making sure that interest rates don't have to run away to slow the economy down a little bit, cool it off a little bit, do the right thing, and make sure that, that people's lives are as good as possible. You know, it, it's real work, folks. And she talks about being anti-government, or, you know, we're pro-government, and she thinks anti-government is a badge of fucking honor, and it's not. 
the government is important people. They do important work. They, we, we need competent people in the government. We don't need Allison Steinbergs and Marjorie Trader Greens and these freaking idiots. We need competent people in the government because the government does important work. Hell yes, I'm pro-government. I mean, Jesus Christ. Hell yes, I'm pro-government. They're out there doing their damn job. You know, who do you think is, is fighting their ass off to make sure interest rates don't run away and we bring inflation down? <laughs> Take smart some bitches, man. And I mean, who do you want in there? These idiots that Republicans keep putting up? I mean, for Christ's sake. But anyways, folks, I just wanted to address this bullshit from Allison Steinberg again. She seems to have a hard on for me, and I don't know why, but she does. It really bothered her that I was there. And people like to hang out with old Texas Paul. They do. You know, I'm a good time. I am. I'm a good time. But more importantly, I tell the truth. And if you don't, if you don't believe that I'm 100% truthful, you go back watch any of my videos and you Google what I say. It's that simple. Check it. Check me. Unlike old Allison Steinberg, who lies her ass off at every turn. She's got to keep her people believing these ridiculous conspiracy theories all the time. Instead of just talking facts to them like we do here at Midas, Midas Media. You know, if you got to lie, you know you ain't got a leg to stand on. And that's just fact, folks. That's just fact. So look. Stick here with Maddie's Media. Hit the subscribe button. Help us out. Help us get our message out so that we can get the truth out to people. So that people have real information to make decisions on. I mean, that's what you need. You need real information to make real decisions. And that's what we do here at Maddie's Media. You don't need somebody like Alice and Stein. Shit, man, there has been sweat in Kim Kardashian's butt crack with, more, with a higher IQ than Alice and Steinberg. I mean, she's usually just out gay bashing and shit like that. I mean, she's just a horrible human being. Just a horrible human being. I wish she'd just get my name out of her mouth. Anyways, I love you folks. Yes, I went to the White House. It was a wonderful time. They are brilliant people there. They really are. You should take heart the fact we've got absolutely wonderful, competent people there. And yes, we are working our ass off to make sure you get the straight message. I love you folks. I really appreciate everything you do. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you get out to vote. Early, early voting is going on right now. Get your ass out to vote. That is how you take somebody like Allison Steinberg, OANN, Fox News. This is how you give them the big middle finger. This is how you say fuck you to the right wing media that sits there and buries your Papa in bullshit so that he sits there and spouts all that stupid shit. You got to sit with him here in a, in, in a few weeks at Thanksgiving and listen to that crazy ass right wing bullshit. This is your chance to tell them, fuck you and vote them out of office. That's how you do it. Yank their teeth, pull their power. Love you folks. Go Texas Paul out. This November is Rovember. Midas Touch just released its brand new collection of Rovember t-shirts and pins to let the country know what's at stake this upcoming midterm election. Go to store.midastouch.com to grab yours. That's store.midastouch.com.